is again, unfortunately, with a heavy heart that I stand in front of you today to talk about the loss of Maricopa County Sheriff's Office Lieutenant. Late this morning at about 10.50, Lieutenant Chad Brackman was working basically a traffic control assignment in the area of 87th Street in McDowell. While outside of his vehicle, he was struck by a vehicle. The impact was so severe that although he was transported here to Scottsdale Osborne where they did everything within their powers to try to save his life, it was unsuccessful. Um, so we have again lost a very important member not only of our community but of the law enforcement community, a very good man, I can tell you because I did know Chad. Um, he has a beautiful family and they are all suffering now as is our organization in the law enforcement community. And although I will tell you that any loss of life is tragic. Um, there's just something heavier, something uh, more difficult to deal with when you see that people who dedicate their life to public service, committed to care for others, uh, are taken from us so tragically in, in circumstances that in this case, um, I, I don't even have the words for. As the sheriff of an incredible organization of men and women, it has been a heavy, I'll say two years for us. Um, and I hope, and I have a great appreciation for the community support as always, um, but I hope in this moment everybody takes a few moments of, of solace and silence to just reflect on the fact that we have lost another member of the law enforcement community, a good man who was a 22 year veteran of this organization. He was only 47 years old. He leaves behind a wonderful wife, two children and two stepchildren, and a very big family. Some of that family is traveling right now from out of state to be together. Um, and as always, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, the men and women will stand strong and stand tall. And although we will feel this very deeply and suffer from it, um, we, will not be, we will not be broken, um, but we will mourn heavily the loss of our friend and our family member. <sighs> Worst time uh, to be the head of an organization when you have to speak about a loss such as this. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to, to the chief to speak briefly about the investigative side of these circumstances. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sheriff. Uh, again, uh, Jeff Walther, Chief of Police, the Scottsdale Police Department. And we today, uh, we stand with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Penn's own on, on another day of tragedy. Um, our hearts go out to uh, the Brackman family and, and their loss today, and the loss, frankly, to the entire law enforcement community. Uh, currently, just to give you an update on the investigation, the Scottsdale Police Department's Vehicular Crimes Reconstruction Unit is out on the scene, along with uh, elements of my traffic enforcement section and are in the beginning stages of the investigation. And McDowell Road is shut down between Granite Reef and Pima in both directions while we conduct this investigation. Um, we do have the lone occupant uh, of, the, of the vehicle. Uh, they are currently um, at uh, Honor Health Osborne as well, being treated uh, for potential injuries related to, uh, to, the, invest to the crash. And so we do have that person. Again, it was a lone uh, driver in that vehicle. Um, I'd ask for your patience, to be honest with you, because we're in just the first few hours of this investigation, uh, and this will take some time um, to bring to a conclusion. Um, but when when it uh, when we do bring it to a conclusion, conclusion, uh, we'll put that information out to you. But that will be quite some time. Yes, sir. Uh, Chief, can you talk about what happened at the home? What your officers suspected did after the crash? Did you confront the right driver? Was it blood drawn from that street? Did you ask officers if there were wounds on the ground? Or did you bring them to the location of the crime? Yeah. So we do have officers with that driver right now. And so again, kind of beginning stages of that. So um, those are all the investigative steps that we're going to take moving forward. But we do have officers with that person right now. Are you trying to get a name in or who it was with? Don't, I can't really give that right now since we're just right at the beginning. So um, we'll put that information out as we continue to develop that and, uh, and, and kind of look at that moving forward. So we'll, we'll let them we'll let you know. Details about the driver, Not that we're going to put out right now. Anything else for me? Uh, 
Yeah, so uh, Lieutenant Brackman worked out at our Lake Division, um, and as I said, just a, a good quality man. I know we hear that often when we talk about those that we lose in the line of duty, and, and more often than not, it is the case, but he really was just a kind, good man with a beautiful family. Um, you know, right now, there's a substantial number of family members who are here to include his children, and it took a little bit of time for us to make sure that we were able to reach out to all of them and bring them together. They're suffering, as you would expect. You know, his wife kissed her husband goodbye this morning and expected to see him be in the ship. And although in this line of do, this profession, we realize the risks that are, you know, consistent with that, it's still this unrealistic thing that you know that it happens, you know it's gonna happen to you. So to see them in the pain that they're in is heavy for all of us. The men and women of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office are in there with them right now. So we offer support through our critical incident uh, stress management team. We also offer counseling services. We have a lot of organizations who come together immediately to provide resources to include monetary support to make sure that they don't have to worry for or need for any immediate financial needs. Uh, we have had an outpouring of support from not only the Scottsdale Police Department, but the Fire Department, Phoenix Fire, and other organizations of first responders. Uh, so as you've seen many times, we are an extended family and it's a strong family to come together. Um, but I don't know how to, you know, I, when I think about the reaction from the men and women of the organization, uh, quite frankly, again, how is this again? You know, it's one month, I think, to the day from when we lost Deputy Ruiz. Uh, so you, t you keep taking those body blows and you realize that you gotta still keep fighting, fighting for this purpose that we signed on for, which is um, to be public servants who care for the, the needs of others. Uh, but these folks have needs and they need to know, as, as I said before, and we've, we felt the response that people care that Chad Brackman's life mattered because it did, that his sacrifice was significant, and that his loss is devastating. Uh, and, and I think if we come together as a community and just make sure this family receives all the love and support that they can, it will never replace his loss. But one thing that I will repeat that, you know, I'm always cautious about was, um, was something that his wife said was, you know, she feels all alone. And even though she has her family here with her, she feels lost in this moment as, as we can probably relate with. So I just ask you to do the things that we ask, but do them with meaning, prayers and support, outpouring uh, and understand that there's thousands of men and women every day put on a uniform and leave the house and sometimes they don't come home and, and that's that's difficult and it's tragic and even though in this circumstance a, a traffic accident unlike what happened to Deputy Ruiz it's still a man who was out there in the community providing a service for the safety of others so with that we're going to conclude and again I thank you for being here and, and for, the, for the support during this difficult time for us.